Be a step ahead with forewarned weather. Certified most accurate. You're watching News 4, your local news leader. Now, live from Buffalo, this is News 4 at 7. Thank you for joining us for News 4 at 7. I'm Jordan Norcus. Here are some of the stories we're bringing you this hour. There were 12 friends that were not turned over. Um, and that's a given, and that's a problem. The matter verse, Miss Lynch is over. A woman who spent nearly 30 years in jail for being involved with the murder of an Amherst woman is free tonight. What led to her indictment being dismissed? And for tonight, pretty quiet, cold once again. Most of us will dip into those lower to mid 20s. Tomorrow, tracking that snow. I'll talk more about the timing of that snow that's coming up. Plus, the man accused of killing a Jamestown mother and led police on two manhunts learns his fate for kidnapping an elderly couple. We'll tell you how long he'll be behind bars. Topping the news at 7, a Buffalo woman will be free of her convictions after a judge ruled to exonerate her of her charges. Renee Lynch spent decades behind bars for the murder of her landlord. It Coming up, a Cheektowaga ice rink is back open to the public tonight. The latest from Holiday Twin Rinks after a carbon monoxide exposure sent over 100 people to the hospital last week. And later, the presidential campaign is heating up. Who's leading the polls and where all the candidates are rallying? Those stories and more in the next half hour of News 4 at 7. watching News 4, your local news leader. Now, live from Buffalo, this is News 4 at 7. After being closed for more than a week because of high levels of carbon monoxide, Holiday Twin Rinks is back open. The complex underwent its final inspection today, allowing it to let skaters back on the ice. The rink, that's why they are not on this list. Meanwhile, businesses will be busy this Sunday for the Bills game, including Chippewa for the last regular season block party. Chippewa Street between Delaware and Franklin will close at noon. The block party starts at 6 and kickoff is at 820. Tickets to the party are $15 and they are still available online. Well, that does it for News 4 at 7. I'm Jordan Norcus. We'll see you later tonight for News 4 at 10 right here on CW23. Until then, have a great night and a better weekend.